As a creator, one of the best things you can do to increase your productivity is create an environment that makes it easier to make things. So that's exactly what we did with this space here. It was a lot of framing, drywalling, mudding, painting, building 49 sound panels uh, and installing them on the ceilings and walls, as well as a lot of Home Depot trips. So in this video, I'm proud to say that it is finally done and this is our 2021 studio build. This space used to actually be a painter's workshop. So as you can imagine, there was paint everywhere. And not only that though, it was an oil paint. So the paint would seep into everything. I'm talking about all over the drywall, but also it seeped into the uh, concrete floors as well. There was also a lot of mold on the ceilings and walls, which of course is a concern. There was damaged drywall, lots of cracks everywhere, cracks in the concrete. The concrete was really dusty. And there was a lot of old uh, cabinets along the the back wall that we had to demo and then get rid of. It took us about a year working an hour or two every couple days to get it to look like this and it is completely different from what it used to look like. So getting the space to look like this was not easy, that's for sure, but it was so worth it because this space allows for so much. And it's already been a huge help because knowing that the space is here, it's set up and you know it's ready to go, I feel good about entering the space because I don't need to set anything up. It's just ready to go and of course that creates a motivation to create more things. I honestly can't express enough how important it is to make a space or an environment that allows you to create more easily. Of course, that environment will be different for everybody, but the point or idea is the same. Maybe it's a bedroom or a basement, a garage. Maybe you're renting a space with some friends. It's important to know that if you create an environment that allows you to do more, that of course by nature means you're gonna be more productive. That will create a scenario where it's easier to go after and achieve your goals. It's one thing to have a battery charged and a camera ready to go whenever you need it, and a completely other thing if you have a physical space, an environment that you've created that's dedicated to help you do your craft, whatever that may be. So I do encourage you to start thinking about maybe there is a space you have access to, maybe it's an outdoor location that just doesn't have people around for distractions and that would work. So I would suggest creating a list of the different things you may want in a space and then go from there. I've been shooting videos for a while and I can definitely get in the mindset where I just don't feel like creating anything. I either don't have any ideas or maybe I don't have time. Maybe it's I just don't feel like setting up a new setup. Either way, I'm in my own head and that's gonna stop me from creating more content. Having this space has changed that for me. For example, using the green screen space in the back, I can make more of those fun and weird compositing videos that I made. with the backdrop system that I have behind me now where it's set up with white I can change that to whatever color I need and do more structured or corporate style content and beyond that I have the product shot table which is a 4 by 10 foot long repurposed desk I added wheels to it so I can roll it around the whole studio and it really makes it a lot easier to get different backdrops and get close up b-roll product shots whenever I need them for any videos I'm making. Then I of course have this whole setup here which is what you're looking at now. This is sort of the YouTube or filmmaking niche type of videos with just a, a touch of the button. I can turn it off or on and I have the, all the lights set up, even the overhead. Yeah, and that makes it a lot easier for me to just come in here, turn the camera on and start recording the videos. I don't need to worry about the lighting. I don't need to worry about the camera or the backdrop or any sort of setup in this setup itself. 
makes things a lot easier. And of course, that means I'm gonna create more content. And then we have the last area in this space. We painted it all white so that it has a contrast with the black area. That means we can set up in this spot and shoot whatever we need if we want it to look different than the darker area. We have a couch, a chill area. You can sit down, relax, have a meeting, talk with people, or we have the projector installed in the ceiling which projects onto the white wall and then you can watch a movie, play back videos, or maybe you could hook up a gaming system and play some games through the projector. And that brought the whole space together, which was important to me in the original planning of this space. I wanted more of a professional working area and also a chill area. So when you come into the space, you have everything you need to relax, de-stress, but also be productive at the same time. Basically what I'm getting at is this space eliminates at least one of the excuses that I had in not wanting to create content because I was too inside my own head. And that would be that it's ready to go whenever I need it. As a final note, 100% you do not need a space like this. This is definitely overkill. And if you're just starting out as a YouTuber or a filmmaker or a creative in general, having a space is great, it will help you, but again, it's just like a camera, it's a tool that will help you be more productive. So take it from me, I've been a content creator for like 15 years, I've owned several businesses for like seven plus years. You do not need a place like this right when you're starting out. And I wanna remind you that, yes, this does seem like quite a big space just for YouTube, it's a pretty big, dedicated space, but we also run a production company. So the idea behind this studio serves a lot of purposes for us. You may have noticed the floors it's the first thing people comment on when they come into the space. They're very, very shiny and they work well for the look of a production space. Of course, they weren't like that initially. It used to be covered in just oil paint and bare concrete, which was very dusty. So one of the things we wanted to do was seal out the dust so that the air was nice to breathe in here. It wasn't as cold. We wanted to have the look sort of feel more like a modern studio space. So we did spend quite a bit of money on the floors. They're an epoxy floor and basically it's a thick resin that gets applied on top of the concrete. It's a bit of a process. It took the contractors we hired about four days to do, but I think it was super, super worth it. I'm very happy with the way they turned out. So that's it for this video on our new studio build. It has come quite a long way. And while I am very happy that I am done the renos for this, at the same time, I'm extremely grateful to have a space like this because it just makes things so much easier. And uh, yeah, I'm just very grateful for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when we release each new video. We do about one a week. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.